Okay, so to open this machine up, there are just some screws on the bottom and the screws down here are already missing. So yeah, and we have more of that nice little styrofoam in here, which we will try to get out in a moment. So let's remove the remaining screws. And that's one missing too. So someone took this apart and maybe tried to fix the disk drive. So we have, in this case, just four screws holding it all in. Turn this around. Open this up. So there's a double ribbon cable and there's some spider's web. And here's the drive in question, which is already open. I'm not sure if this is the way this is supposed to be. Could be because Amstrad was uh, just like Commodore, pretty cheap. So they might even not have used a cover on this. I guess we have to take out the drive. Uh, there's more styrofoam in here already. I guess with those two screws. And there's a ground cable, which we will put back in in a minute. Yeah, it's just two screws and a little bit of styrofoam and a dead spider. Nice. And more dust. Okay, so there's only two cables. There's the power cable and there is the data cable. And at least the power cable is keyed but the data cable is not. So make sure to remember how this was in here. In my case, this is with a cable on the back down. Yeah, the very unhappy thing about this drive is that you have to remove the board to get to the drive belt. And in this case, this is only two screws. With this video, there will also go um, another video online, which is how to do the same on the DDI-1 external drive. So how to switch the belt on the DDI-1 drive. And this is put in here and it's held in with these little plastic tabs. So you have to pull slightly or remove all the cables, which I'm a little reluctant to do right now. But I guess we have to because that won't work otherwise. I guess it's best to use a screwdriver to loosen these because the cables are pretty loose in there. Okay, and then we have at least a little space to work in. And as you can see, maybe there's the belt, which is pretty much toast. So first order of business is to get this belt out of there. And let's hope uh, it's already dis disintegrating. So you, you will not be able to just grab the belt. And as you may see, there's lots of belt. I guess that is as good as it gets. And now uh, this black mess on there. Yeah. And now we grab one of these belts that I have here. And I have a lot of these. I guess this one might fit nicely. Let's check. Yeah, that should work. It's a bit fiddly to get in there without removing the board, but eventually 
this will work. So after putting in the belt, all there is to it is putting in the board. First put in the board, watch that you align the little LED in front, in the front, then put in the screws, then put in the three cables again and you're good to go. So let's put this back into the 6128 and see if it works. Let's first connect the drive again, put in the cable so that the um, Pin one, the red wire, is on the right side. And the power connector, which is a bit loose here. Just got something to okay, so that is in there. And then make sure that the drive sits flush inside the case that you don't kill any cables and then screw it back in. So I guess we should give this a little test drive. Let's try. Okay, let's switch on the machine. Still works, that's good. Put in the disc. Ah, this time this works much faster. Let's check the second side, cat. Oh, look at that. Run happy com. Well, that may be. This is a public domain program. If you like it, you can copy it or give it away. Programmable calculator. Okay, let's just say the disk drive works. Whatever this program may be, the disk drive works. So that's great news. And this is the most common fault on these drives that the belt is just uh, degenerated, degraded, de whatever. Um, so if you can pick up one of these for cheap with a non working disk drive, this is how you can fix this. And these belts are pretty much five bucks uh, a bag of a hundred on eBay or Amazon. So grab them while they're hot. Good, that's the Armstrong CPC 6128 or the Schneider CPC 6128 in this specific case. This is Retro is your new black. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time.